Hello and good afternoon, friends. Today on this beautiful fall afternoon, we're gonna be taking a look at a distribution box. So these are very, very common, but I wanna show you what is a distribution box, how does it work, and why do you have one? So let's get into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna see here, we have a distribution box. This particular one is from the early 2000s, so that's why it's got this shape. Modern ones are generally gonna be rectangular or square. Now, in my opinion, there's no real big difference in the shape beyond how it disperses the water. This box is also accessible by a manhole riser. Super common nowadays, at least in our county, that is required by code to have an access at grade with a manhole riser. And the purpose of that is so that way you can maintain the system more efficiently. By having access at the surface, if something goes wrong, you're able to get to it, fix it, and deal with whatever is happening. This particular property has a septic tank to a pump chamber. From that pump chamber, it will then pump the sewage up the hill to this distribution box. If you don't have any kind of access point on the box, finding it is almost impossible. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. So you'll usually see a, a, at least older houses, you'll see a four inch clean out. Modern ones, you're gonna get a full manhole size lid. So that's our access. Let's kind of talk a little bit about what does it actually do? So for this particular one, because we have a pump chamber, we have a small two inch pipe coming into the box. That's gonna be our inlet line. On a modern gravity fed system, you'll have a four inch pipe like the ones over here. And so what'll happen is the water will come into the box. It'll hit that brick that's kind of falling down a little bit, and then it'll evenly disperse into the drain fields. These are gonna be our drain field lines. These will connect to the trenches and basically that's how the water dissipates into the surrounding soil. The issue with a lot of these boxes is if you don't have proper ventilation. So sewer gas is incredibly, incredibly corrosive. So if you don't have the correct ventilation, the sewer gas will just chew up that concrete until eventually it just collapses under its own weight. So a lot of these places you'll have to have that vent so that way you can get rid of the gas. In this particular circumstance, because it's got a pump chamber, all that gas is gonna get stuck in that box and in the drain field. So there's no really anywhere to go and that's why you have the manhole riser. By having the riser, it basically allows that gas to escape, which should help to increase the lifespan of the box. Now, in our area, we generally see that these boxes will last roughly about 20 years, give or take. Sometimes you get a little bit more, sometimes you get a little bit less. It just kind of depends on who built it and how was it installed. Distribution boxes have been used for a ton of years, and they've come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Now, generally, you're gonna see a distribution box versus the alternative, which is just a straight pipe or what we refer to as serial distribution. Now, the benefit of a distribution box is that you're gonna have everything at one point and then it disperses into your trench legs. So if you have an issue with trench A, you don't have to worry about trench B or C being affected by it until you can fix trench A. If, for example, you have serial distribution, which is where you're gonna have trench A goes out, down solid pipe, snakes back on itself trench b down snakes back on itself trench c if you have an issue like a root intrusion or an obstruction in trench a now none of the water can get to the rest of the trenches and so now you have an emergency that needs to get addressed whereas with a distribution box if you get these lovely trees causing problems yeah do you need to fix it yes is it something that you have to pay an emergency fee mm, probably not most of the times, uh, most homeowners aren't gonna open these boxes unless something went wrong, or you're getting an inspection, or if you're concerned about the placement of the trees. So in this particular circumstance, we have a lot of trees next to these drain fields. So they wanna see what's inside the pipes. By having this manhole riser, it makes it so much easier to actually see what's going on inside the pipes. And so that way as a homeowner, you actually know what's going on, right? And you can maintain your system. You're generally only gonna see distribution boxes on systems with at least two absorption components, sometimes a little bit more, right? So if you have a single trench on a tank, most of the times you can just straight pipe it right into the trench, call it a day, it'll do what it's gotta do. But if you have two trenches, it's a lot easier to have the distribution box. In our area, you'll usually see most septic systems will have between two and four trenches, depending on the size of the house, the soil, and how much water they're anticipating using on that particular property. It's not every day that we get to come across something like this. I wanted to make a quick, short little video to kind of walk you through a little bit more of what is a distribution box, how do they work, 
And if you have one, don't panic, don't worry about it. Everybody's got a distribution box. So if you found this enjoyable or if you gained any value out of this, please do me the huge favor of hitting that like button and subscribe. I have more videos posted every day on the world of well and septic. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.